So in this exercise, we're going to take a quick look at the very basics of manipulating and moving around Blender, specifically when we're using the toolkit. So we have the main 3D view, and in here we have the default camera, a light source, and a cube, which is a mesh primitive. So to manipulate all of this, we can do two things. We can either use the manipulation widgets in the top or upper right corner here. So we have magnify, move, camera focus, and then toggling between perspective and orthographic or orthogonal. So in sequence, so that toggles between perspective and orthogonal camera that toggles between the camera and the normal camera view what we're looking at if we click hold on the hand we can strafe or move the scene left to right top to bottom so that's linear movement if we click drag on the magnifying glass we zoom so that's front to back or forward backwards and then to rotate or manipulate the view itself, we can use the widget. So if we click drag in here on any of the slightly paler gray area of the sphere, that will allow us to free rotate. So we can rotate the scene freely. If we click on any of the nodes, we switch to specific orientations. And when we do that, it toggles us into orthogonal. So we can click that to toggle back out into perspective. So if you have trouble moving your mouse or controlling your mouse, we can use these controls in the upper right. But to use the mouse to rotate the scene, we click hold middle mouse and drag across the screen and that will rotate. Using the middle mouse again, if we hold control, click drag middle mouse. That zooms or we can scroll middle mouse. And then shift middle mouse, click hold that strafes. So those are the basic ways we can manipulate the scene so we can use the widgets or we just do it manually using the mouse. Now, in relation to creating our poses, so we've got our pose file in place. So we have our skeleton, which are all these wireframes, and a representation of the avatar, which is the mesh. Both male and female use the same skeleton, so it doesn't really matter what mesh is shown here, although, with that said, if we are doing animations or poses for the male avatar, we may need to make some adjustments to our sequences. So first things, switch into pose mode. And then once we're in pose mode, we can, depending on our selection bias, so when we first open Blender, it will give us an option to use the left mouse button or the right mouse button as our selection action which then means all we do is use that so left mouse click or right mouse click depending on that setting to select a bone or a shape in this case that represents a bone and then using our shortcut keys g grabs r rotates and that is free rotate so it rotates relative to the view on any axis same for grab so that will allow us to move a bone on any axis if we want a specific axis we want to use the widgets so we've got move rotate scale but we don't use this for imvu and then the universal which combines well all three but we only really want to use move and rotate so using the widget, click on that to activate. 
So left click or right click, depending on your preference. And we have the widget that allows us to move in a specific axis or combination. So the pads allow us to move in two directions at the same time. So just to recap, we're using the widgets to manipulate the scene. So click drag that rotates or click on a sphere for a specific orientation. We can then toggle back into perspective have the camera, we have click, hold, strafe. So click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, zooms. So for the mouse, that's middle mouse, click, hold, control, middle mouse, click, hold, that zooms, and then shift, middle mouse, click, hold, that strafes. So those are your basics for manipulating Blender, basically the scene and the different elements. So all we're doing is using a selection option, left click, right click, to select an element, the widgets to manipulate, or using the shortcut keys. So G to grab or move, R to rotate.